Stephanie Denman from the Denman Homestead here and today is the day that I'm going to do this tutorial with you. It's my honey sticks or honey lollipops or tea stirs or sweet treats, whatever you want to use them for. All of the above. Um, full disclaimer disclosure, these are not 100% honey. So if you're looking for something that's going to be like super healthy or, you know, just all organic, this ain't it. This is not the one for you. This is a sweet treat that's flavored with honey and filled with lots of sugar. Okay. So <laughs> does it use honey? Yes. It's not all honey though, unfortunately, because I have tried, believe me, I have tried. I have ruined a lot of honey in the experiments that I've done trying to get close to pure honey that I can. It's impossible. And if you know of a way that's tried and true, send it my way because I've done so many variations and it burns every time. And I think it has to do with just the composition of honey. Um, the water ratio, the sugar ratio, the ratio that we don't 100% know about in honey, you know, like bee spit. Um, so this, this ingredient, these ingredients that I'm going to show you to get a hard to the hard crack stage, um, which means that you get to essentially boil your sugar into a hard candy, um, is going to take granulated sugar, light corn syrup, and honey, and some water. And then you can add in whatever flavorings you want. So today I am going to add in a little bit of vanilla bean paste to these, I'm going to call them tea stirs, um, tea stirs, and give it so that whichever, you know, when you stir it in your tea, it'll give off a nice vanilla flavor. And then also I've got my dehydrated lemons that I did the other day. So I'm going to be cutting these up and fitting them into my molds when I pour the um, candy over in, in the molds. And let me show you the molds. I have these two molds that I found on Amazon. So they're really cool. You basically just stick your little um, stick, this, um, this, this one, this white stick, in here, and then you pour in your your candy. And then it hardens in the silicone mold and you can just pop them right out once they're hardened. So what I've been doing is I've just been taking my tiniest, let me find it, oh. The tiniest cutter that I have in my little cutter pack and it, it's the exact shape of this mold. So I've been cutting my lemons to size and I'll just set my little lemon slices down in these little holes and then pour the sugar uh, mixture over it. And then you've got a really cool um, dehydrated lemon inside your, your, your stir stick. And believe it or not, you actually infuse that lemon flavor in your tea whenever you're stirring your tea with those sticks because I've been using them. And it's really nice, like with chamomile tea in the evenings. Um, really nice. My mom actually tried these and she stirred, she doesn't like a super sweet in her hot tea. So she was able to like save half of one to use for the next tea. She didn't use the whole thing. So she lightly sweetened her tea. Um, but yeah, you can take it out and set it, you know, put it back in its wrapper and it could be multiple uses if you want. And they're super versatile. My other friend who tried them just used them as lollipops, which I do not blame her. I think that's awesome. So. Let's get started. Okay, the ingredients on this recipe today is gonna to be two cups granulated sugar, one third cup light corn syrup, one third cup honey, and three quarters cups of water. And we're gonna combine that on the stove. And then any flavorings, we're gonna add in at the very end. So let's get that going. Something that you're probably gonna wanna invest in if you're gonna make this is a candy thermometer. I have this one here also, I think it was like eight bucks on Amazon. It's got like a little thing on the back so it clips on the side of your pan. You're really gonna want to get one of these. Um, 
the candy thermometers, I don't know if you can tell, let me see, but they list on here the different stages of how hot your stuff is. So this is like softball stage, firm ball, hard ball, soft crack, hard crack. Hard crack right at 300 is where we're gonna pull this mixture off as soon as it reaches 300. And coincidentally, that's right around the time where it starts to smell like it might be borderline scorching. Um, gets that deep caramel color, but it doesn't. It, it, if you can take it off in time, like right then at 300, you're golden. And then it will firm up hard and it won't melt or, um, cause I have done them where I've done like a soft crack. I've pulled it off at soft crack stage. And then they kind of just tend to over time like goop. Like they just, they lose their shape. You really need hard crack stage to get this to hold shape. And it also is, feels hard. So let's do this. We're gonna put two cups of sugar. corn syrup, which this is a two-thirds measuring cup, but I'm just going to fill it hopefully halfway with what I've got left, and then the other half I'm going to fill up with honey. And believe it or not, even though this has a lot of sh like sugar, um, just like plain sugar and corn syrup, because the honey is the only other flavor added, the honey flavor really shines through, I believe. Um, you get a really good honey flavor in all of the sugar. And this is a very messy, messy job. So everything is gonna be sticky. It's almost like harvesting honey day like everything I touch is sticky there's a bunch of sticky pots and spoons and measuring cups so have some paper towels on hand <laughs> okay now that I got that added I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat and I'm gonna add in the water now stir this to combine a little closer I'm gonna stir this to combine and this is a very important um, tip because I did not this is one of the lessons I've learned making these once everything is kind of combined and dissolved together don't stir it again don't touch it again. <laughs> so it's gonna be bubbling. You're gonna want a deep pot. This is very, this is like, there's not very, maybe an inch worth of stuff in this pot right now, but it's gonna bubble really high up. And when it does, you're gonna be super tempted to stir it. Um, don't. And you may be asking me why, and I believe it, has something to do with it. It increases the crystallization within the um, candy mixture and it takes longer for it to come to the hard crack stage, which increases your chance of burning and scorching. So just let it go once it's um, all combined and dissolved. I can hear it starting to simmer. I'm going to pop my thermometer down in here. Unfortunately, it's not deep enough to cover the entire tip of this thermometer, but once it starts to boil up, it will get covered. Um, once the simmer starts going, I'm going to set my timer for about 20 minutes, because if I remember correctly, last time it took about that amount of time to get it to that hard crack stage and I'm just gonna wanna keep an eye on it and check it as it gets closer to that 20 minute mark. 
Also, what I noticed when cooking with honey, there's gonna be some foam stuff that starts to form, like a film almost on the top of this, and I'll show you what I mean. And it's gonna have some like, it does, it's not gonna look nice. It's not gonna look appealing. I don't know that it would taste bad, but I scrape that out and I just kind of dump it. Um, it almost looks like an impurity, maybe coming from the honey or whatever it may be, but uh, I don't want that ending up in the sucker. So I scrape that kind of foam stuff off the top, but I don't stir it, I just gently scrape it off. So I'll show you that when it happens. While this is getting going, I'm gonna now cut my little lemon pieces to fit my molds. And I'm probably gonna do half and half. I'll probably do one of these with lemon, one of them with a little bit of vanilla bean. So. I'll start working on that now. One, two, three. So I need 12. <laughs> soft ball stage on the thermometer and we've got about 11 minutes left on the timer and I have pre-filled each one of these with my lemon dehydrated lemon pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and put both of these on a baking sheet it just makes cleanup a little bit easier if you overspill or make a mess I put both of these on a baking sheet and enter um, insert the sticks inside I'll show you what I mean by that like a little bit of stuff on this on the surface that I'm going to scrape off. Let me show you. So if you can see here, it's kind of in a line. Let me get my stir stick here. Um, can you see this right here? This stuff, it's kind of discolored. There's just a little bit. That, I just take like a little spoon and I try to get that out of there. And I'll um, just kind of dump that in, in the sink and rinse that out. Look guys, I started to smell it. It's like turned a deep caramel color. It's right there, right there at the hard crack stage. So we gotta get going. As soon as I pull this off, we've got to start pouring it. We've got to start pouring. Don't splash yourself either with this stuff because it will burn, burn, burn. So to make this a little easier, I'm going to just take this Pyrex glass um, measuring cup and I'm going to just basically dip it down into that mixture and use it to pour into my molds. Now hopefully I'll have enough time to add in some vanilla at the last bat, for the last um, couple. For these. <laughs> you guys, you guys know what I'm saying. All right. So let me pour, you guys can see. It's gonna be hot. I'm gonna pour some of that in here now. I'm just gonna take this and pour it over these molds. Now it might be a little bubbly and that's okay. Sometimes they settle and sometimes there's a little bubbles, like there's a few bubbles on the surface. That normally doesn't bother me too much. Um, it's 
fine with me. But you kind of have to work fast with these because the candy starts to harden and set up pretty quick. It's already getting slow, slow, slower to pour out. So, So I'm going to pour the rest that's in here into my cup, and I'm going to hope and pray that we have enough I'm just going to mix in this vanilla bean paste real quick. Let's see if I can't get these going. It smells delicious. gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. I don't know if you could tell how fast I had to move once that once I had to pull it off. It was like yeah I had to move pretty quickly. But these are all setting up now and they look great. Um, this is kind of like the color they're going to turn out to be, just an amber, an amber color. This is already like set up little strings of uh, crystallized sugar. And to clean this out, all I do is soak it in some warm water and uh, the sugar dissolves pretty easily. Um, but I wouldn't let it sit for too long because the harder it's, the longer it sits, the harder it gets. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this stuff in the uh, sink right now to get it to um, clean easier. And then once these set up, I will show you how they turned out. I'm excited. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes or so, so let's pop some of these out and take a look at them. See them? Now if you do get some like stringies or like a little bit of like overfill or a little bit of blobs on the top, that's okay. Um, a lot of times they'll just like pop right off if you try. Look at that. I hope it'll focus for you. That is the the um, the lemon right there on that side of it. And they turned out really well. I don't know if you can hear it. Like these are hard. And these are gonna be great. Let me get one of the uh, vanilla bean. This is a vanilla bean one. Has a little bit of a darker um, look to it, I guess. I guess the vanilla bean tints it a little bit darker because it's the vanilla bean's black. 
So when you stir it in, it gives it a little bit of a darker hue. I can't wait to try these. So now what I will do is I will wrap these in some wrappers and I'll just twist tie them and they'll be ready to go. So I hope you like this really quick and easy tutorial. And FYI, if you want to make your own um, suckers, the, the plain base without honey is you just replace the honey ingredient with additional corn syrup. So instead of one third cup corn syrup, one third cup honey, you just do a full two thirds cups corn syrup with your two cups of sugar and your water. And then you can add in whatever extra flavoring and it would be a regular sucker. Um, or you can do the honey instead and do a honey version for your hot teas or just to enjoy when you're not feeling good, got a sore throat, any, I mean, possibilities are endless. So, I hope you get to it, um, try this at home. And if you do, let me know in the comments. And also let me know in the comments if you've ever done this before and have a way to add in more honey without burning it because I would love to know if anyone else has done this and left out the corn syrup or whatever it may be. But so far this is the best recipe i found where it holds its shape, doesn't scorch or burn when it reads, reaches hard crack stage. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys and like always catch you on the next one. Bye.